Now that we've got some plants in our project, it's time to put in a schedule. Now you can put these in now or at the end, because it's very easy to uh, renew the data within those uh, towards the end of your process when you put more plants in. All right, in Vectorworks 2018, it's slightly different way of approaching things than to previous versions. In the old versions, you probably would have come up to tools, down to report, and you would have selected choose schedule from this, not create a report. There would have been a set an option, choose schedule, and you would have been able to find different planting lists in uh, this area. However, now what we do is we come over to our resource manager. Instead of selecting our project like we have been in the past, we're going to come down to Vectorworks libraries. We're going to change what uh, different file types we're able to search for, and we're going to select worksheets. Here in the search bar, we're going to type in plant, and now it'll bring up all of the different worksheets that have plant in the name and they'll be our planting plans. So I'm going to drag one in and drop it and you can see it's added up all of the different plants that are in my project and popped them into here for me. The columns that are available are directly related to the person that uh, created this this worksheet. So. The different worksheets in here will have different columns, even different fonts and font sizes and things like that. So you can keep grabbing different ones from within here and drag them in until you find something you like. Now if you do choose one that has categories for the different types of plants, you need to be careful. Because if you don't categorize your plant, it won't appear underneath one of these categories. Or if you categorize it as something that's not in the list, that will also uh, not appear for you. So, I'm going to create a new plant to show you how something may not end up in there. So I'm just going to draw a circle. I'm going to go landmark, create new plant. I'm going to name this uh, plant one just to get going. And let name, I'll just call it plant one. Okay, so I'm going to finish creating this. Um, it's been loaded into my database. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and update this schedule. So I right click on it and go recalculate. And you can see that it's added in this new plant here. And if I come down to this spreadsheet and recalculate, you'll notice that it hasn't added it in. And it's because it hasn't been categorized yet. So what do I do? I've got to come over to an instance of that symbol and edit the definition. And from here, I'm going to come down to plant data and I need to access the category and I need to call it something that is in uh, this uh, plant list. Trees, shrubs, ground covers, grasses, climbers, etc. So I'm going to call it a shrub and I'm going to go OK. It's going to update that for me now. If I select this and recalculate you can see it's come up under this shrub category here. Getting the spelling right is critical for that. So it was shrub rather than shrubs. And I just know this from practice. Okay. When you're inserting your schedules, you can either put them in your design layers and viewport them across, or you can put them directly onto your sheet layers. So I could draw a shape over the top of this and go view, create viewport, yes, and then pop it on a sheet layer that I've either created or create a new one for my planting plan. And from here, I could move this around to where I wanted it. But what I could also do is come back to my design layers and cut this out
go to my sheet layer and drop it directly on I know from uh, past experience that it was going to come out the side there based on where it was in its design layer I could paste this on or I could have directly inserted it onto my sheet layer now the beauty of this is that if when I viewported I only kept to the boundary of this then I continue to add more plants on the viewport would have clipped out the new rows that were inserted I could have changed this by changing the crop of that plant but this is also a pretty quick way of solving that problem as well um, just putting it straight onto a page space or a sheet layer and setting up your fonts and text sizes so that they're directly relevant to this one-to-one -one space so I could now set up my piece of paper so that it's going to fit and arrange it where I want to and potentially stick my planting plan on the same page At this point, I might decide that I want to edit some of the data in here or just set up the fonts how I would like. So what I will do is double click on this spreadsheet and it'll bring back up this editor. This kind of works like uh, Microsoft Excel or similar programs. Um, I've got columns and rows. And from here, I'd be able to select everything and I could right click and format cells. This would be a nice way to quickly change my font. I could also come over to different rows and decide that I didn't want them at all in this so I might not be interested in showing the mature height so I could select this and delete that column I could extend something if the text wasn't all showing I could make this column wider and all kinds of things like that we might do a video later going into a bit more depth how to edit that, but for now that's probably enough to get you going.